I put the crossbar thing on there for the, the handle. You okay? No, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. My name is Christina Cotterman. Thank you. I'm the acting director of the Media Relations Division. Thank you for your patience on what is a difficult day for the PGPD family. I'm going to bring up Chief Aziz to provide the community an update on an injured officer. Thank you. Good evening. I'd like to share preliminary information on our Prince George's County police officer who was shot this afternoon. At approximately 12.41 p.m., an off-duty officer spoke to a friend who told her there was a crime in progress at a home in the 3100 block of Squire Road in Upper Marlboro. The officer was in the area and notified 911 in order to get additional officers to respond to the location as well. When the officer arrived in the neighborhood, she stopped her car nearby the home where the robbery was reported. Preliminarily, it appears the officer accidentally discharged her weapon while retrieving her firearm, striking herself once. She is out of surgery and in stable condition. This officer is assigned to the Bureau of Patrol and has just one year on. Our main focus is our officer and her quick recovery. Please keep her and your family in your prayers. And we're also working to identify and arrest the suspect involved in this crime in progress. Chief, this was a robbery that this officer had robbed? Well, it was a, that this was a robbery? We haven't confirmed the robbery yet. That's preliminary information, but we are certain that a crime was in progress at the time. But our preliminary information uh, is indicating that there was a crime, and it could be a robbery or some other type of crime, but we're certain for the crime in progress. Chief, what is the procedure for an off-duty officer responding to a crime? Well. You know, we're police officers. Uh, the officer was in the area, uh, and she did what she was supposed to do. Uh, she spoke to a person who alerted her that a crime was in progress. Uh, she called 911 to get, get additional officers to the scene, uh, and that, that is actually what we trained for, to take those kind of precautions uh, when she believed uh, some type of offense was taking place that could cause harm to an individual or herself. You said she's been with the department for a year. How for, long has she actually been on the street? Uh, she's been on the street for a couple of months. Do you have a description of the suspect who may be involved in that crime? Is the neighborhood safe tonight? Do they need to be on the lookout? Well, we believe the neighborhood is safe, and we work hard towards making our neighborhood safe in Prince George's County. Uh, right now, uh, we have some preliminary information on a uh, dark-colored four-door sedan. Uh, but right now we're confirming those things, so we want to make sure that we put out the right information as soon as we can. We saw a vehicle get towed away from that scene. Is that the vehicle that you're referring to, or was that the officer's vehicle? No, ma'am. That is not the vehicle that we're referring to. So the officer responded in her personal vehicle? Yes, the officer was in the area, off-duty, in her personal vehicle. Did she respond by herself? Uh, there was a witness who was with her at the time. Uh, and we are talking with that witness uh, at this time right now. The suspected other victim in this case who may have been involved, um, who may have 
to getting robbed or burglarized, is that person okay? Uh, right now, yes, and we're talking to that person right now and gathering more information, but that person is okay. Uh, right now, uh, our officer uh, is out of surgery, uh, and we are concentrating on her full recovery. That is the person uh, who was injured at this time. Uh, but all other parties, uh, with all indications that we have in this preliminary investigation, uh, appears that they are okay right now. How many times did her weapon go off? Uh, once. Do you believe that that man's business had anything to do with what appears to be an attempted robbery? Well, right now, I can't confirm uh, if a business was at the location or if that had anything to do uh, with the crime that was taking place. So I can't confirm that at this time. We're going to take one or two more questions. So Chief, did the officer, did, I mean, did she see the robbery? Did she see suspect? What, tell me what you know about what. Well, what, what we know in this investigation so far is that she spoke with a friend who alerted her that some type of crime was in progress, uh, and then she stopped well short of the location and she called 911 uh, in order to get additional officers you know to the location uh, that is exactly what we train officers to do uh, and to take those kind of precautions uh, and you know what for whatever she was looking at at the time and whatever she's saying i can't confirm if she saw anything uh, as i mentioned uh, she uh, just got out of surgery so we have not uh, spoken with her uh, at this point, and we are interviewing the other parties who are involved to give us a better understanding of what actually took place. Chief, can you tell us about her? her? What, what yeah. about her? What about who? Yeah, can you tell us about her? Been on the force a long time? Um, well, 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 she's been on the force for one, just over a year, uh, and she's out on the streets protecting the citizens of Prince George's County, the residents of Prince George's County. Uh, and, you know, outside of that, I won't get into her personal life and at this point in time. I, I haven't spoken with her yet. Uh, and when I speak with her, that'll give me a, a better understanding of, of what information she wants released in her personal life. Last question. Last question. What is it for other officers to respond? Off duty officers carrying a government issued weapon. What is that? Can you clarify once more what the policy is for off duty officers carrying a government issued weapon? Well, police officers in Prince George's County are required to carry their weapons at all times. Uh, we don't stop being police officers when we're, when we're off duty. We don't have that kind of luxury. Uh, so we have to protect ourselves and be armed in case things like this happen. Uh, and, you know, we are fortunate that we have officers out there uh, who abide by policies and procedures and who are willing to go out every day and put their lives on the line uh, to protect these great residents of this great county. Chief, policy is required you... to have the weapon at all times? Yes, ma'am. We, we are required to be armed, ma'am. Are you worried that this gun misfired? What do you think happened? Well, I don't know what, what actually happened. Uh, we're going to investigate it uh, and find out what happened. But what we what we believe uh, is it was an uh, inadvertent, uh, an accident. Uh, I don't. Uh, we wouldn't look at that any other way uh, for what was happening at the time. We're going to get a clear understanding of what the officer was looking at at that particular time. Uh, and again, I want to reiterate: uh, an, an officer has suffered a, a gunshot wound and got out of a, 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 a very serious surgery who is in stable condition now uh, and we're worried uh, more and concerned more about her uh, recovery and her well-being at this point in time. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chief.